When I remember back as a child, my parents would tell me to go to bed at 7, 10 o'clock. And there was no negotiation about that, even though I am definitely an evening person and would have stayed up much later. So I was never sleep deprived. And so the parenting, ad parenting advice, would that not perhaps also, how important would you think is it to give kids perhaps more lead in terms of how much sleep they should get? That's a tough one when you ask about parenting advice, um, being a parent myself. But I think you recognize that there are two things that you observed. One is that across the population, there are owls and larks. And it probably, to some extent, relates to genes that we inherit. Often, larks have parents who are larks. That is, they like to get up in the, they, they do their best in the morning, and owls do their best in the evening. But on top of that, across um, childhood development, as I alluded to before, as children go through puberty, they really become owls, as they've, at least as hormones are changing, and um, and then you'll recognize that they will have uh, um, problems really getting to sleep at an early time, and in and, and, and some children it's especially difficult. And I think those are the children, to some extent, you need to allow to go to, to, to some extent, to go to bed a little later and give them the opportunity to sleep later in the morning. I mean, there, there are limits, and there are things that we could do to try to get them to sleep, you know, it, you know avoiding caffeine in the evening and, and light and some melatonin. But there are some children, especially during puberty, are going to have a real trouble getting to sleep at 7 p.m. or 8 mm -hmm. p.m. And the key is to make sure that you could try to get a nine-hour sort of span of sleep in, and that's where the, the, the brush against the school start time really comes in.